السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. من الوسام وسام أنا من سيرتيفايد كيندي ستوتر فروم هوم فيوتشر وأنا سيرتيفايد تريننج كيندي تريننج سنتر. لاست تايم وي توكد أباوت ذا رود ماب إن كيس يو ونت تو جوين ذا كارير أوف سمارت هوم. وي توكد أباوت إن كيس يو أر فري لانسر أور ستودنت أند يو ونت تو جوين ذا كارير أوف سمارت هوم. وات كان يو وات يو كان دو. Today you are talking and focusing on CanX in case you want to join the career in CanX. Okay? So if you are a student or a freelancer and you want to start with joining the career in CanX or getting to be an official partner of CanX, this video is good for you. This is the English version of the video. There is another Arabic version of the video. If you want to share it with your English friends, join the, uh, share this video. If you want to, to share another Arabic one for your Arabic speaking friends, You'll find another Arabic video on the same channel. Why KNX and what's KNX? KNX, as we talked before, is a standard protocol. It is not a brand. It's a protocol. It's a standard. It's a technology like Wi-Fi is a technology. Okay. So under this technology, you will have a lot of devices and a lot of brands working under this standard. So it's a standard. Okay. It is used for home and building control. So. Simply for everything needed for automation, you will find that KNX can fit in this. KNX is suitable for all applications of project size. By application, I mean if you want to have a project to uh, uh, power metering, KNX is good for you. If you want a project for uh, security or safety in houses, KNX is good for you. If you have a small project like an apartment or an office, KNX is good for you. If you have a very large project, then KNX is the best for that for commercial buildings for projects like dubai airport or something like that then for small projects or very large projects knx is very suitable for that knx is a worldwide compatible and with worldwide connectivity so if i buy a device from germany and another device from italy i can connect them together with no issue because with the knx certificate and knx logo on it it means that they are totally compatible together it's a worldwide approved technology uh, recognized and acknowledged in everywhere so it's in us approved it's in europe approved it's approved also in the middle east so i have a protocol that can join all those devices from different manufacturers different different countries together suitable for small and bigger projects i have huge network of partners working under knx umbrella making devices and solutions for knx so if i have i have a lot of manufacturers now maybe 500 or 600 manufacturers the manufacturing devices for knx i have a lot of net a big network of trainers i think now by now almost 200 trainer freelancer trainer world worldwide okay that will provide training for knx devices and knx as a protocol i have a lot of users using knx i have a lot of consultants okay in the projects knowing about knx so knx is, is a worldwide standard for that with more than 600 companies doing devices for KNX. The KNX is suitable for uh, projects like hotels, like buildings, like commercial buildings, okay? Uh, Dubai Airport. So, I have a very big community working to provide material and to provide information and devices and solutions for KNX. KNX is a multiple communication media, meaning that it is not only a word with TB, I can connect device of KNX using TP, twisted pair, and we talked about that in previous video. I can also connect devices, okay, like Pipeone via IP network. In this case, I can connect via fiber network or CAT6 or even Wi-Fi. And I still have, I can also connect devices using the RF, radio frequency, like similar to Z-Wave, okay, but not like Z-Wave, of course, you have more complicated in, when it comes to wireless technology. But it's a simple one that I can use as an extension. For my projects so my projects doesn't have always to be wired they can have a mix of wired using tp or wireless using rf or even i can connect the backbone together using ip network okay so it's a multiple communication media for knx to program devices and connect devices together there is only one tool i can i need to know which is the ets we'll talk about it briefly in this video Okay, so the ATS is the tool that combines all the devices together. So from my point of view, if I learn ATS, then I learned how to control, how to program a lot of devices together. I don't have to go through a specific brand, but I need to go through the protocol. So I have a 
a protocol that's covering a lot of applications for many project sizes and I need only to learn one tool to control it. So this is why what makes KNX a very global standard and a very huge one that is very, there is a very high demand on it for now. Okay. To start with KNX, KNX recommends that you start with certified training. What does it mean by certified training? Certified training are trainings that is designed and supervised by KNX Association. KNX Association is the association that is supervising everything and controlling everything related to KNX. Okay. So certified trainings are mostly combining theory and practical together under one supervision from KNX Association. This is why you take a certified training. Certified training also that contents are provided from Connect Association, the creators of KNX. So I know that the contents are in the goal. Certified trainings should be conducted by KNX certified tutor like myself. Okay? So you have still there is an error here. This is KNX, okay? So certified training should be done by certified tutor. So you, you know that the tutor already has the, the skills and the requirements to do the training because he was certified and approved via KNX Association. Certified training should be done in a certified KNX training center. A certified KNX training center meaning that the training center is approved from, from KNX Association. KNX Association checked everything from the material, from the devices used, from the tutor. Okay, It's surviving the whole process to become a certified training center. Okay. And after you finish that, that certified course, you will get an exam mostly from KNX Association. And once you pass the exam, you also get a certificate coming from KNX Association. So it's a worldwide certificate, worldwide acknowledgement. Okay. And your name will be listed on the KNX Association website as well. So this is why when you go for KNX trainings, you should go for KNX certified trainings and certified training centers. What are the courses provided as certified trainings from KNX? We have four courses. The basic one is the first one. We'll talk about this one in the next slide. And this is where you start working with KNX. When you, once you finalize this one, you can take the advanced course. But you have to finalize the, the basic one first to take the advanced course. The HVAC is mostly for advanced HVAC solutions like heating or AC. Okay, then you have the final one for now is the tutor and you take this one to be a certified tutor. Okay, so you have four courses. One of them is you need to take it only if you want to go for a teaching career and to be a certified tutor under KNX Association. The basic one is the most famous one, okay, the certified basic course. This is your entry to become an official KNX partner. This is the first course you take to be able to say an official KNX partner. KNX basic certified course is divided between theory and the practical. The course is mostly in four days or 30 hours and is divided for a theory part covering a lot of theory parts related to KNX and the practical part. And the practical part should be done on site where you do programming yourself and uh, uh, do uh, scenarios on the kit itself, on the hardware itself. Okay? It's covering the basic theory part and the essential practical part. And the practical part covered in the KNX basic course is mostly lighting and shutters. Lighting, we are talking about on off lighting and dimming lighting and shutters. Okay? And doing scenarios as well. After you finish the course, you take an exam, two exams, you have a practical exam, okay, which you do it on site, and the theory exam that you do it online with KNX Association. The theory exam, by the way, is a 100 question exam, I think for one hour and a half, and you pass it by 50%. It's a true and false questions, so you need to answer uh, sufficient questions to get a 50% success uh, success score in it. So the success, the success, the basic score is 50%. If you get more than 50%, then you pass. If less than 50% on the in the practical and in the theory part, then you did not pass. You can take the exam again, by the way. I think you have until uh, till three attempts. Once you pass the course, you get a certificate 
which is provided by by Kinex Association. So it's a worldwide certificate from Kinex saying that this guy has the, now the knowledge to be an, uh, an official Kinex partner. You got you get also also two vouchers, one for ETS Lite and an upgrade from ETS Lite to ETS Pro after passing the exam. Also, you have now the right to have to use the partner logo so you can say I'm an official KNX partner and you can put yourself on the KNX association website which is a very good thing because most of the time people are looking in this website to find out what's the partner that I can work with this is the basic course once you pass the basic course KNX association is recommending that you take the advanced course why because now you have more details and more knowledge and now you can go to the next step. The next step is having bigger projects. Now, the advanced course is mostly focused on practical parts. Where you have, where we can go into practical parts like, uh, let's say in larger projects like controlling AC, controlling dairy lights, uh, having a mobile application, controlling multimedia, putting audio in the project. So a lot of things that you need for larger projects, you get it in the, advanced course so you find that in advanced course the focus is more on the practical part okay and less on the theory part you have of course to finalize the basic course first and pass the exam it's covering advanced topics okay like ip interface like ip security a lot of advanced topics in the practical uh, in the in the advanced course and also you have here two exams okay one theory and one practical and you have to pass those two exams and get to get the certificate also certified uh, provided from Kinex Association. And you get also a rebate voucher of 50% on ETS apps. ETS apps are some kind of an extension on some third party apps that will give you more functions in, in, in the ETS itself. And of course, it will be recognized on the Kinex website as taking the basic course and the advanced course. So now you are an expert in that. KNX certified courses are not cheap, okay? So they come with some kind of cost because they have to be done by a certified tutor, a certified training center, uh, so they're not cheap. Let's say you don't have the resources now, you don't have the money now to join a certified training course. So what, can, what you can do, you can simply join the eCampus. The eCampus is a free online training done by KNX Association as well. So you can simply log on make an account on KNX association website get a new account and then just join the e-canvas okay the e-canvas would give you it's a free for charge of course it would give you some knowledge of theory and the practical you have some questions after each each chapter you buy the questions and once you finalize the course and you pass the questions you get a certificate of success okay only certificate of success because it's an online course only there is no practical part in here and you get also a rebate voucher for ETS slide so you can get the ETS slide for free once you finalize the e campus is it now you are a certified official partner no you are not you will be not listed on the KNX website okay and you, you cannot say use the KNX logo or you say that an official partner but it will give you some kind of knowledge in the beginning okay what kind of tools I can use in my knowledge if I want to learn more about KNX? I have two tools. The KNX Virtual is a free tool that will simulate having a kit. So if I want to try more, I took the basic course, I, maybe I took the e-campus and I want to try more in my house or in my office. I don't want to put a lot of investment in getting devices and program devices now. You can use the virtual KNX Virtual. It's a free tool from KNX Association. You can download from KNX Association website. Okay, and it will give you as if you have a kit with, let's say, actuator, sensor, stuff like that, and you can program them. Okay, as if you have them, and you can see the results on in front of your screen and your monitor. How can you program them? You program them using the ETS. This is the only tool that now mostly you need to use to program devices in KNX. Also available for free as a demo version. Okay, demo version will give you until five devices only. If you want to have more devices, you have to get the ETS Lite. ETS Lite would give you up to 20 devices. How to get the ETS Lite, by the way? You can get the ETS Lite for free if you join and finalize the eCampus. 
or if you join a certified basic training then you get the ETS slide for free okay if not then you can use the demo version and up to five devices and you can use the ETS to program the KNX virtual devices and you see the results in front of you and this is the easiest way the fastest way so you can practice KNX on your own so to wrap it up in a very simple way if you can afford and you have time and dedicated and the resources to take the certified basic course then take it then joining with the advanced course and you now will be fitting and be able to join the career in KNX as a professional KNX partner if not okay then you can join the e-campus free training and you can start the practicing later using the KNX version and the ETS to get more experience last tip in case you want to contact KNX partners and you want to go for let's say training opportunity or even job opportunity KNX part, official partners you will, you will find them on the KNX website and you can get their names on the KNX website and maybe you can contact them saying that I need to get more knowledge more training opportunity more jobs in the KNX field they'll be able to help you to get you in one of their projects okay and the data is there in the KNX uh, association website I'm done with this video. These are our resources. You can join our Telegram channel and join our channels. You will find more information on those channels. Okay. Uh, if you have any comment, anything that you need to improve, please let us know. If you have a question you need to cover in our next videos, please let us know. If you have anything that you need to add, also, please let us know. My name is Wissam from A Human Future. It was a pleasure talking to you today. I will see you in the next video, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa